2017 Great Midwest Men's Runner of the Year from Cedarville University, senior Daniel Mahalski. Uh, Daniel, great race today. Uh, where did you feel the strongest on this course particularly, and uh, when did you feel like you were able to, to kind of pull away? Um, probably uh, uh, definitely after the midpoint. Um, came through 4K of our 8K and, and uh, was feeling quite strong. Um, it was established as a two-man race at the front, uh, myself and a guy from Walsh. Um, after the 5K mark, uh, we, you know, he wasn't matching me stride for stride quite as well, but I was biding my time to see um, what kind of moves he might make as the, the topography of the course changed. Uh, going into that fourth mile, um, there's an uphill, it's pretty significant, and I figured that he might try to make a move on the uphill like he did on our first lap through there, but he did not. So I gained a couple of steps on him there and uh, decided to really hit the next downhill really hard, and that was the gap that that uh, I created to and, and sustained for the rest of the race. Um, you know, the next next corner I turned, I couldn't hear footsteps anymore. Um, so I didn't really look back for a little bit until inside the last mile. Uh, I took a peek and saw I had about 50 meters, and trying to you know, kind of put it in cruise control from there on out. It was downhill for most of the last mile and um, wasn't feeling great. Just like, all right, I've, I got the lead now and the finish line can't come quick enough. But it came and it came, it came soon. Um, and yeah, I was really pleased to get the win. Going into this race, I think many people would say that, that you'd be the so-called favorite going in. But um, did you ever see it that way? Uh, does it add any more pressure to yourself a little bit? or? Yeah, so uh, based on the season's results, I had the, the quickest PR um, of any other guys in the GMAC, and and head to head beat a lot, of, you know, beat all the guys from the GMAC competition. Um, so yeah, I, I knew there was a target on my back, um, and it was a little, a little concerning. Like, okay, like they're expecting me to win here. They're expecting me maybe to even set the pace of this race. Um, but I didn't really want to do that. I, I wanted to establish myself more with, with the lead group um, and, and go on how that felt so, uh, so as not to get ahead of myself or whatever. You know, I have confidence in, in the latter half of my race to be able to pull away if I have to. And um, that's essentially what happened today. Uh, I was surprised that it became a two-man race kind of like it did, or at least so early. Um, but was glad. You know, it was, it was good to go back and forth with Cornell and Walsh. Um, and yeah, once I made that move, it was it was pretty decided the the, the gap, and um, I had I had the confidence that I could that I could carry it in and, and be all right, you know. But it's a little you got to run scared kinda to to get a win. Going into your senior season, uh, rewinding back to the spring, um, you were a, a national outdoor track and field champion mm -hmm. in the steeplechase. Uh, talk about how that may have affected your regimen for cross country season in the off season. Yeah, so. Um, my approach to the spring was was that of uh, having a little bit more fun and uh, listen to my body a little bit more. Um, and I tried to take that same thing into cross country, uh, whereas in the past I was a little maybe overly committed to, to my mileage and um, and not giving my, myself enough rest and not really listening to my body enough. And that was why last fall I ran into an injury, I, I think. Um, so yeah, I just, I want to just have fun, go out there and get after it. Um, you know, now that it, now that I have that title from Steeplechase, um, you know, I, I realized uh, at a you know one of our last meets that I'm kind of a target for people, um, which was kind of like intimidating because I haven't had quite as much success in cross country uh, in my college career. Um, but to, but to come here and, and to win this race and to do well in my previous few races. Um, it's kind of confirming the work that I've done and uh, my establishment as you know one of the better D2 runners. Daniel, congratulations on today's race and best of luck at uh, regionals, which you guys are hosting. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Thank you. Thank you so much.